Hey everybody, it's Rob here, and I've been getting several questions on the uh, Workshop Labs Discord about adding new items into the game and new frames. We've had, a, it's a new tool, it's been around for about a year now, called the Meta Editor for um, Hotline Mammy 2's editor. And it's a little bit different than the original WAD for my old tutorials, and so I thought I'd show you what you can do with it and what you can't do with it. Um, and some of the awkward stuff to it. So first of all, you're going to want to download it. You can find it on um, Donut's GitHub page. So I'm gonna download it again, just to show everybody. You wanna click this one, unless you run an old computer that's only 32-bit. I'm gonna move it, so let's extract it. But we have this. We have that. All right. So first off, you're gonna want to do is make sure you have the correct base wide. So you program files: Steam, Steam apps, Common, Hotline, Mammy 2, Data Desktop. This is the one that you need for the base wide. Okay. So open that, and we have all of our items, and it's pretty similar to the old one in terms of what you can see it's uh, just like got dark mode and you only see the metas instead of the PNGs which is important so now that you have this open with the correct base wad you're gonna find the item that you want to increase the amount of frames to so here's the basketball court pretty big and it's a very valuable item if you want to replace it in the editor because you have a lot of space but what if you want it to be animated? Or what if you want to have multiple instances? So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to find it here in the other wide, the prison right here. You can barely see it, but we're going to extract it. Let's just do it to the base folder here. Okay, going to open up GIMP, open. Okay, so here's our item. And now this is very important. You need to know the exact size. So we know that it is 415 by 224. Now, what? So let's say we want to make three different basketball courts. Okay, so we're going to go 415 times three. That's our new width. So we're going to go file new. One, one, two, five, four. That's our new size. And we can. And it's, let's say we need to keep this because this is actually pretty common, especially for me when I have so much. So let's. Give it a little split. Give it a new layer. Okay. And we have that there. And we can also just click and drag. One, two, three. Smiley face. And then add an alpha channel. And we can delete that layer. So now we have our three basketball hoop courts. And we're gonna want to save it somewhere that we can find, export it as a PNG. Okay, now we can use this. We're gonna want to hit Meta, import sprite from strip. We're gonna want to go find where we put it. Here it is. Open. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Import. It's gonna take a second. And I messed something up because you can see it's slightly moving. So they need to this say the exact same size or you're going to get some warping. Ah, let's see, see that. This is 116. So many times you got to be careful. Sometimes you got to be careful. So it, it's this is the correct one, 14, not 16. Sometimes they have a little extra. You're gonna wanna trim that off. Here we go. Switch that. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna de delete them all. Try it again. One, two, three. Overwrite it. Find your thing. Meta, import sprite from strip. Import three. Okay, now they're perfect. Okay, so if we wanted to have like an animation, you can preview it here, which is very slick, and we're going to save it. 
got to save it into your mods folder. No, it's called mod. Okay, and I need to restart my Hotline Miami. Let's see what was called basketball. Court. There it is. One, two, three. And it, it even counts. So you can even see here that it works. You see three frames. If you open your Hotline Miami right now, check this. It'll say one of one. The fact that it actually updates here is incredibly cool. And here we go. They work. It's nice. But there is some issues. Firstly, you need to use an item with just one frame. Otherwise, the next time you open up your uh, level, it will reset it to the first frame or cut them off if it's an animation. It's very annoying. So, let's see here. This item, one frame, that's perfect. It's these, okay, once you place your fourth item, you save it, you run it, it works great. You boot the game up and uh, again, the fourth frame is not there. It's been, re it's been replaced by one of the original three. So you have to use items with just one. Even if you do make an animation. So let's let's get like acid bath. So this acid bath will animate. And let's say you increase the amount of frames from four to 16. After you open the game back up later, you're only gonna see the four frames looping. So it has to be a single frame item. There's also a lot of issues using single frame items because their behaviors aren't given a speed and that's just the way Denneton coded it so um, give me one sec and I'll give you an example with a thing that I've already made for example the 50 blessings blueprint I have a couple like variations here so let's place that there and then cabin booze I've got a couple of variations five different frames typically it's just this one and just because each item has its own unique behavior even if it's behavior is the same as so many other things it can be different and so if you see this happening you'll uh, have to roll your eyes groan and then head to notepad plus plus so let's go to our single folders and find our file edit with notepad plus plus and we are gonna find our item so let's now, I don't really know what the booze container thing is off the top of my head, so we're going to open up this, and I'll include uh, these in the description as well. So let's look up booze. Booze. Cabin booze. Yep, look at that. So the earlier sp the sprite is made, like the lower the number, the way higher chance it has to do this. Okay, and we're going to give it, and this is an easy one to remember, 1985. If you name it 1985, you will give it the correct behavior. Gotta reload the file though. Save it. And now it stays. And you can, enemies can see you over it, you can shoot over it. If you need the item to be uh, solid where the enemies can't see it and can't shoot through it, you're gonna wanna use 1092. So now let me prove to you that this works without having to download anything extra for the player so you know how you have to download something extra if you want to see a weapon mod and the sprites for like the ak to change um, but you don't have to download anything extra just for the chairs to change so here this is the location that will work no matter what weapons work everything works here let me find my thing i just called it mod we are going to place that in here if you don't see this mods folder you can just create it and call it mods but I did it on the previous take. All right, we have that. And let's clear it out of this. And we're gonna have to restart the game. Okay, so we booted the game back up and that mod is no longer in my general folder. It's just in the specified folder here. And as you can see, we can see all three. Three, two, one, perfect. But, if we go and create a new level, it's the old court with one out of one. Now I should also say that when you're making the level, they should be in your general because the frame count is taken from your general. It's a little, it's a little confusing, 
but let's go back to our custom over here. So we have the one, two, three, but then if I look it up here, it only has one and it's this one. But so while you're making the level, you need to keep this, met, the meta mods in your general, but then you can put it in the, uh, specialized like sp like level specific folder once you're ready for everyone else to play it now there's a lot of other things that you can do with this uh, some of the other interesting things is if you increase the frame size of attack animations it makes the attack longer so you can slow down fire rates you can't really increase them because the attack animations are only like two frames to start with um, so i guess you could make it one frame and see how that feels differently but if you double the frames, if, if you double it to four, it will half the attack speed for any weapon, which is, I don't, I've not really tested it with melee, but I know with guns, it will actually make the guns shoot slower. Um, the big boon that I found for this is just, I was running out of items that were the correct size. You, you can change the size. You can change the size. So if I want this to be 10 times bigger, I could do that with the mod editor just by importing a different item to the strip. Uh, you saw the pains that I took to make sure it was the right size. Um, you don't have to do that, but then the players will have to manually download the mod. So anyone that plays it without will have a very goofy looking stretched item. And you just don't, you don't really want that if you're taking this seriously. If you don't care, if you expect players to download the mods, uh, go for it. But I'm against that. Um, but yeah, so anyways, it, there's a lot of items that have a very unique size or they're just very useful like this. And that's fun. That's pretty impressive. Now, I will say that there is a limit. It's pretty big. But eventually, if you try to upload something that's too big, when you do the import sprite from strip, so the, the screen or the window that you pull up, how many frames there are, um, if this is blank, it means your item's way too big. But you have to have like 4,000 by 4,000 item before that will even happen. Um, I'm just trying to cover as much information as possible. But yeah, uh, go run wild, see what you can create and add more stuff. It basically gives like way more freedom. You're no longer locked down like throughout the entire development of human being i had to like ration big items for big ideas because it's like oh i only have so many large items in the game that i can replace once i run out they're gone that's not the case anymore i guess there is an upper limit at some point because the f the sizes can't be infin infinitely big but you have enough freedom to fit anything that you want in my opinion um, so get out there, make something really cool, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you for Dump for making this. This is a really cool tool, and I appreciate you listening to my video. Stick around. We're going to have more of these. going to have a lot more content in the future. Goodbye.